One of the most puzzling things in Michael Jackson's secret world is the behaviour of children's parents, particularly the mothers who send their young boys to Neverland. Sandra Sutherland is a former private investigator. She was employed by the accuser's attorney back in 1993 to check out the boy's story. Neverland, to me, epitomised what in the law is called an attractive nuisance. There are pedophiles that I've come across who own a game store or a toy shop or a kid's bookshop, places that your kids and their parents. Um, Neverland, of course, had a zoo. It had a video arcade. It had a private movie theatre. It had Michael Jackson, the idol of children all over the world. It was the perfect, ultimate lure. So it wasn't an innocent playground for the recreation of children? Well, I think a lot of children did have an innocent recreational experience there, and Michael was very generous to some, some sick kids. Um, but no, it was more than that, though, I think. When Sandra Sutherland began investigating, she says she met a number of mothers who let their children sleep alone with Michael Jackson. What did being Michael Jackson's favourite involve for that child? Well, he got to sleep with Michael in the main house and the parents and siblings slept in a guest house. So the deal was, if you're Michael's special child, you sleep in his room? Yes. Sutherland says there was sometimes a bizarre competition between mothers to win Michael's attention for their sons. There were parents whose children were having what they thought was an absolutely wonderful experience, being Michael's special friend, and they also gradually came to realise that their child's time in the sun was very limited. There would, that there would come a time after a year or two or three when they would be supplanted by a younger child. And um, there was a certain discontent among a couple of mothers when they realised that their time was almost up. During her investigations, Sandra Sutherland says she also came across a maid at Neverland whose nine-year-old son was an occasional visitor. Sutherland says she was reluctant to speak out, but eventually she did tell her story. She was very worried that her son was likely to be a victim if he hadn't been already. It recently emerged that Michael Jackson paid the boy two million dollars without admitting any wrongdoing. 